Today we'll be doing an unboxing and review of DC McFarlane Toys four part Titan series. This is part two, Donna Troy, the warrior. Hey, what's going on collectors? It's your boy, Big Nerdo here. And thank you for joining us in part two of our Titan series. Today, it's Donna Troy, the Amazonian warrior. So I really love Donna Troy. She's like the muscle of the Titans crew. Um, she's one of my favorites next to Nightwing being my favorite. And she has a very interesting backstory, which I'll touch on a little bit later in the video. So this Titan series doesn't come with many accessories, but what it does come with is a four part Beast Boy Build-A-Figure set. Donna Troy comes with the arms and we'll show you how those connect at the end of the video. But until then, let's get Donna Troy out of the box on display and take a closer look. To be honest with you, she's my favorite from this DC MT Titan series so far. I love her height. I love the, the stature of her. Mind you, I think her feet are a little bit small in proportion to the figure, but that's something I could live with. Now she doesn't come with much except for her sword and her data card, which has a ton of detail on the back. Well worth checking out if you haven't or read some of the comic books. The Titan series is an amazing comic book. One of my favorites. Let's keep it moving. So for articulation, start with the head. Head goes up and down. There is no side to side in this head. And that's because of her luxurious hair. As you can see here, it's nice and full purple and black it looks very nice but for that nice hair look you get no functionality nothing it doesn't turn at all anyways let's keep on going arms go about that high there that is also due to her shoulder pads look forward about that go back to about there double jointed elbows full Motion in the wrists. Two points of articulation in the torso. Below the chest and in the waist. Gives you an ab crunch about that far, which is not much at all. She does tilt back a bit, though. She does tilt back a little bit. That's about it. There's no real twist side to side in it, in the torso at all. So, yeah, you're really not getting much. Down to the legs. Full. Jean, full Jean-Claude there. Double jointed knees. Double jointed, double jointed knees. And motion in the foot. Forward. Down. And in the toe. And in the toe. Starting off with a DC McFarlane toy, Superman from the Justice League films, and um, Henry Cavill there with Donna Troy, and they're the same height, and it looks really cool, but it's funny how the same company came up with that Superman and that Donna Troy, and just the, the quality between the two, the details in the head portraits. Um, yeah, they're definitely light years apart. Anyways, let's keep on moving. Standing side by side with some more young heroes, we have The Signal and Nightwing, all from the McFarlane Toys line. Now Nightwing is a partner from the Titans line as I'm continuing to build the set, but I threw Signal in there because I just think he looks cool and I love how Donna Troy is taller than both of them. I mean, she she's something else. Let's keep it moving. Changing up the scale for a bit, we have Mafex Psylocke standing side by side with the warrior, Donna Troy, and um, there is no comparison. I mean, Donna Troy's sword is almost the same height as the Mafex Psylocke, which is crazy. Let's keep going. And I thought I'd add a little throwback here. We have Donna Troy with Donna Troy from the DC Collectibles, which is a part of the new Teen Titans set created by Marv Wolfman and George Perez. Rest in peace, Mr. George Perez. 
Moving back into the 112 scale, we have Mezco's Wonder Woman standing up beside Donna Troy, and um, she's towering over her. Let's see if we can get uh, Batman in the mix and see how that looks. Thought I would throw Batman Supreme Knight into the mix, and as you can see, Donna Troy towers above them. Now, I wasn't going to use Clayface as my mega figure. I truly wasn't, but it's so appropriate since Donna Troy is made of clay and magic. She is a golem and not golem from the Lord of the Rings, but a golem made out of clay and magic, like I just said, built to destroy Wonder Woman if she gets out of hand. So there you got it. To be honest with you collectors, I have no real issues with this figure. She looks great. The head portrait from the hair to the details in the face, amazing. Details throughout the uniform, stars on the side. G great job. She even, she even comes with a sword. I mean, it's not like the best sword in the world, but hey, it's something just to give you a little bit more dynamic when you're posing and when you're just setting it up for themes, which I think is important. Not like uh, the Nightwing with no screaming sticks, but we're not going back to that. She also comes with our part two to the build a figure of Beast Boy, his arms. Now these will just pop into place. Just make sure that the ball joint is going straight alongside the arm and just push it right in. You'll see me struggle a little bit to get this in because I'm always afraid I'm gonna break it. And then the same thing on the other side, just make sure that the arrows on the shoulders are pointing down and you'll be good to go. That's what we got so far. Looks good. Thank you for tuning in to part two of our DC McFarland Toys Titan series. Up next is part three with Roy Harper, The Archer.